In today's video, we're going to show you two top-notch trading view indicators that will enable you to take high-quality trades with an insanely high win rate. Not knowing this secret combination of trading indicators will put you at a significant disadvantage. You can use this incredibly effective indicator-powered strategy on any time frame for different asset classes, whenever you trade Forex, crypto, options, or stocks. During this video, we also will show you how you can get access to our top-notch private indicator, known as Quant Algo. This algo tells you when to buy and when to sell, giving you an insane advantage over other traders. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so that you can keep up to date with new content releases. In this video, we will take a look at two top-notch free indicators, which deliver insane results in combination with each other. And more importantly, we will combine these indicators with price action concepts to receive insane performance. Each concept and indicator discussed in the video builds upon the previous, translating into a highly profitable secret strategy that perfectly works for scalpers, day traders, and even swing traders. Classically, we initially consider the indicator, which will allow us to determine the direction of the trade we're waiting for, thus establishing the bullish or bearish bias. Next, we will show the price action backed confirmation, which will significantly enhance the performance of our first indicator, and significantly boost the win rate as a result. And finally, we will add the second indicator to extra confirm the previous step, by identifying the momentum backed setups. Let's add the first indicator, which will act as a trigger event, enabling us to catch a trend change and react to it accordingly. Go to the Indicators tab, type SSL Channel, and choose this indicator. For now, we can see multiple crossovers right here, which distorts the dominant trend, so that let's eliminate some of this market noise by adjusting the settings. At this point, we should change the first length to 15 and the second length to 50. And as you can see, we have a way better picture. With that, let's discuss the first entry criteria. First of all, we need to see the green line break above the red line to receive an early trigger event for the trade long. Consequently, we want to see the red line break above the green line to receive an early trigger event for the trade short. However, it is not enough to take superb trades with a high win rate. As you have already noticed, we still receive multiple fake crossovers right here. As a result, this indicator on its own proved to be ineffective, along with the usage of breakout-based trade entries. For this reason, let's move to the next step and discuss our price action-powered confirmation, along with another powerful indicator that will validate our confirmation event even further. So, if you are enjoying the video, leave a like on it. Also, let us know your questions and thoughts below or topics you want us to cover as we always take your comments into consideration and love hearing from you all. After we caught a crossover in the previous step, we should wait for a long wick rejection of one of the SSL channel lines. From a price action standpoint, it shows us a pullback to the dynamic support or resistance. Also, it would be great to catch a rejection to the red line in both cases, but it is not a necessary condition since we will deploy another indicator to filter out false rejections. And here's a pro tip, the wick of the rejection candle should be greater than its body. This shows us a clear pullback to the dynamic support with a high chance of a trend continuation move. In the opposite case, if the body of the rejection candle is greater than its wick, we should skip this setup due to the high chance of a trend change. In our example, we have one perfect rejection right here and two okay rejections right here as well. When it comes to the bearish case, we have one perfect rejection candle right here. But, as you have already noticed, our strategy still gives a fake long signal right here. For this reason, we should use another indicator, which will allow us to filter out such setups. Finally, let's consider the last indicator that enables us to avoid false rejections during the consolidation phase and trend exhaustion. Once again, go to the Indicators tab. Type Relative Volume and choose the following indicator. As for now, let's adjust settings and change the LSMA length to 200 and the lookback bars for average to 50. Also, let's adjust the style by disabling all these points here, and as you can see, our white line is located a bit higher, allowing us to identify higher than average volume spikes. As you can probably know, the consolidation phase and trend exhaustion is always followed by a lower than average volume. 
so that this indicator allows to avoid such false signals. So, after we caught a long wick rejection candle in the previous step, we need to validate whether the pullback is true through this indicator. For this reason, the volume bar should be higher than the white line right here to confirm true pullback conditions. Let's also take a look at our chart. So, we got the first rejection right here, which was followed by this perfect volume spike. And, more importantly, the volume bar is higher than the white line, confirming that this rejection is true. So, we can enter the trade long immediately. And the price then spiked up drastically. Also, we have another two rejections right here. But only the first one was validated through the relative volume indicator. What is more interesting, the indicator invalidated the rejection candle right here, which occurred during the trend exhaustion. As you can see, the volume bar is less than the white line right here, so we should not take the long trade right here. The price then plunged dramatically. For now, let's move to the next part of the video and look at more market examples on different time frames and asset classes. During this part, we will also go deeper into recommended risk management rules for this strategy. Before we move on, we want to share with you our top private indicator, QuantAlgo, which can be used in combination with previously discussed indicators or on its own. This high-quality algorithm, which combines complex trading processes to tell you when to buy and when to sell, was developed to enhance your trading experience. You can use it on any time frame for different asset classes. So, if you want to access Quant Algo to get results fast, all links will be in the description and the comment section below. Without this Algo will put you at a disadvantage. So, here's Tesla stock 45 minute time frame, and here the green line crosses above the red line, so that we have the initial trigger event. Moving on. We got a perfect very long wick rejection of both SSL channel lines right here. At this point, you probably wonder where the stop loss and take profit should be placed. We recommend you set the stop loss below the red line or previous low and target a 2 for 1 risk to reward. And, backing to Tesla stock, as you can see, the price easily hit our take profit, rising about 38%. In addition, we can see two rejection candles right here. Both cases satisfy our extra confirmation criteria, meaning that we have volume bars well above the white line. And as you can see, both setups hit their respective 2 for 1 take profit targets. Here's gold 5 minute time frame. Also, we want to note that this strategy can show a lower win rate on the 5 minute time frame due to the more frequent signal nature. In addition, in these time frames, we recommend you to initially target 1 to 1 risk to reward with a follow-up stop-loss trail to break even. With this in mind, let's back to the gold. So, we have an SSL crossover right here, giving us a bearish bias. Next, we can see a perfect long wick rejection. However, we can see that that white line along the bottom is below the zero threshold. In such a case, we can jump into the trade immediately because technically our volume bar is above the white line. As a result, our take profit was hit. Next, we can see another rejection candle right here. Moreover, our extra confirmation criteria are met as well, so that we can enter the trade short. And boom, our take profit was smashed. Moving on, we can see that the green line breaks above the red line, so that long trades make sense for us. We got a first long wick rejection candle right here. But, the body of this candle is bigger than its wick so we should skip this setup. Next, we receive an OK rejection right here where the wick is approximately equal to the body. The relative volume indicator also gives us a confirmation right here. As a result, we receive another top-notch 2 for 1 risk to reward trade. Finally, we got the last long wick candle right here. However, as you can see, the volume bar is below the white line, meaning that we should skip this trade and the price then dropped drastically. So, here's the perfect example of how the relative volume indicator filters out false signals. So here's Ripple 1 hour time frame. As you can see, we initially got a rejection candle right here, but the volume bar is well below the white line, meaning no trade long right here. Next, 
we receive an SSL channel crossover right here with a follow-up long wick rejection candle. The volume bar is above the white line, validating this setup. So, we enter the trade right here with a stop loss above the previous high, and boom our 2 for 1 take profit was hit. So, if you are enjoying the video, leave a like on it, and subscribe to our channel, as it always motivates us to release new content more often. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.